What's up guys, Peter Von Pandy out here with my uh, fire pit. I just bought this thing, you saw it. Uh, really love it, but as I was sitting out here and had my feet up on it, you know, one of the things that was kind of a crit criticism is that, you know, when the flames are going, they're just kind of, you know, moving around uh, however the wind dictates. And if you have a glass up here, if you have your feet up here, um, I never had a trouble getting burned, but what I just felt unsettled by was, you know, if I have a glass of wine or a Coke or my sole of my shoes facing the flame, I don't want the wind just to kind of keep kissing, you know, those things with, with fire. It can be, I don't know, I don't know, melt the bottoms of my shoes or whatnot. So I, I've seen those little glass uh, wind guards and I bought one. So, you know, I bought one based on the size of this. This is a 19 inch um, sized opening here. And I wanted to see, you know, if that would be a nice little addition. So we'll show you what we got here. Uh, first of all, comes in this box came via FedEx picked it up on Amazon comes with these little L clamps it looks like we have one on the top and bottom for each corner and then we should have four panels of glass and we do and I believe it's tempered glass so hopefully it's pretty heat resistant but obviously it'll fit inside my whole cutout opening here and so it should be pretty straightforward to put together you know, if you have an irregular sized opening or you want a, you know, a glass wind guard that's larger, you can certainly get them larger and they'll just kind of sit all the way around it. I wanted something that maybe would fit in here. I wouldn't have to worry about it getting knocked off or getting slid around and maybe something that I could even leave there because uh, now I have my duct cover and just cover the whole thing when I'm done with it because obviously it could be at some temperature. So let's just open this up and take a look at what we have from, you know, hardware. And installation materials you can see here we have little l shaped brackets and uh, phillips head screws where you just kind of tighten them down uh, you want to be pretty ginger with these just enough to kind of hold the glass in place but you don't want to crush it so i'm going to get a phillips head screwdriver and we'll um, assemble everything and then try it out also quick want to say that uh, you know they seem like they're actually metal. I kind of thought these would be plastic, but it makes sense that they're metal because they're gonna be so close to flame, you don't want them melting. So um, they're they're actually more um, impressive and robust than I expected. But because of that, uh, they have a little bit of a matte finish, but they're not like grippy, they're not like rubber. And so um, I'm almost hopeful that they fit inside this tray because the, 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 the shape, the lip here is what's gonna hold them in place. If you were gonna get this uh, larger instead of a 19 inch uh, cut out maybe like a 23 inch square so that it's surrounding it uh, I don't know if you'd want to put like a little rubber um, a, a, you know double-sided rubber adhesive or something like that to hold it in place permanently or or like a little rubber feet or something to keep it from sliding around you know I just don't want it to fall off and get knocked or something like that but let's go ahead and put this thing together All right, so I got it installed, man, and I'll be honest, I love it. Uh, a couple tips uh, when putting this in is I found since I was putting it inside and wanted it to fit inside this lip, it was easier actually to put the, the corner spacers in first and then put the glass in because um, you have a little bit of play, you know, where to put the glass because, you know, this opening here will, will um, be determined by how far or not far you know you put in the glass so you can have them touching you can have them spaced out so you do get a little bit of play obviously this one this particular model was uh, advertised at 18.75 inches i think maybe something like that because it's just a little under 19 so obviously it it fits and then i i even have a little bit of uh, play if i needed to tighten it up just a little bit now the, the top uh was pretty easy to put on after i had everything else lined up and uh, I mean, it looks great. You get a little bit of that kind of tempered glass uh, green edge there, which is kind of cool, but it obviously fits in here and I don't have to worry about it going anywhere, even if someone's like a, a little bit sloppy drunk and taps it or we get lots of wind or something like that. And, um, but I think the big advantage here is that now I have about six inches of uh, wind blockage so the flame will kind of stay a little more centered uh, kind of flow upright as opposed to kind of whipping around but then whether I have my feet back up here you know I don't have to worry about them being kissed by flame and those drinks or food or whatever you might have you just don't have to worry about people kind of uh, being teased by a roaming flame on this now last thing I want to try here is just to see if I can put that duck cover back on here without taking this off now the, because the cover was meant for a 40 inch fire pit and this one's only a 36 inch I believe you know it has a little bit of extra room as I demonstrated but I uh, just want to see if I can get it back on with that extra room and it doesn't have to be perfect but I'd love to not have to take off or take out the glass every time although it just would lift straight out which is kind of nice so let's just go ahead and kind of ginger it on. 
thing. So, look at that. Oh, I'm pretty impressed with that. So, the duck cover uh, goes right back on, and because of that extra space, which, well, you know, I only bought a 40 inch because they didn't have anything in exactly the right size, but as you can see here, um, you know, you can tell that the glass is up there. You know, it doesn't protect it from being shattered by whatever, you know, hail or a branch falling or whatnot. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed that I don't have to worry about the glass being hot and pulling it out and, and uh, dealing with that there. So that is the, the, the glass square wind guard. You can put them up, pick them up on Amazon like I did. Uh, look at a variety of them, different sizes. Uh, you can get one that meets your needs. Peter Von Panda out.